So what we're going to do over the next few videos is show that there is indeed a solution to Maxwell's equations which allows electric and magnetic fields to move through space all by themselves with no charges and no currents involved, with a changing magnetic field producing an electric field and vice versa. Now one way to work this out is actually just to take Maxwell's equations and solve them. But that's beyond the scope of maths for this first year course. So we're going to do it backwards. I'm going to show you a possible solution and we're going to go through and prove that it's consistent with all of Maxwell's equations, which means it's a valid solution and therefore can really happen. So what is this possible solution? Well, let's assume we have a infinite slab of empty space uh, divided between these two invisible borders and everywhere inside here the electric fields point upwards and magnetic fields point out of the screen towards us. But if we're outside there is no electric field and no magnetic field likewise on this side over here. So it's a slab of perpendicular electric and magnetic fields in the universe. So if you did a line through it and measure the electric field, so you could plot the strength of the electric field against position, you'd find nothing, 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 suddenly jump up to some big value, then come back down again. And a similar plot for magnetic field would also show nothing, 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 and then coming up and then down again. And it's an infinite slab going all the way to plus infinity, minus infinity, and out front and back. So it's infinite in two dimensions. One more thing we need to have. The slab can't just be parallel. It has to be moving. So this entire slab is moving in this direction at some currently unknown velocity v. Now what does it mean for electric field to move? Well, it's not actually the electric field's moving. What's actually happening is the electric field just outside of this side is increasing, and that side is going away. So you just imagine you've got some region of space, electric field 0, 0, 0, plus, 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 0, 0, 0. And as time goes on, this one will be rubbed out, and this one will appear. And then as time goes on a bit further, that one gets rubbed out, and this one appears. And that one's rubbed out, and this one appears, and so on. Similarly for the magnetic fields, you've got them coming out of the screen, and then as time goes on, each one disappears, and another one appears, and that one disappears, another one appears, and so on. So what we're getting is a zone of electric and magnetic fields, and on this back side, the electric field at this location will soon go to zero. It's likewise a magnetic field, where it's just outside here, it will suddenly appear. And that's what we mean by the electric and magnetic field moving. So that's our basic idea. We're now going to ask, can a system like this actually work? Does it agree with Maxwell's equations?